The kinship diagram is also called a similarity graph, an interdependence graph, or an affinity diagram. The kinship diagram is a simplified version of the KJ method, whose name comes from the name and surname of its creator, that is, Jiro Kawakita. Earlier, he conducted studies in Nepal and India, during which he gathered ethnographic data. In 1951, Jiro Kawakita began to work on the analysis of data collected during his Himalayan expeditions. This data was written on individual cards and were qualitative, unmeasurable, unique, and described certain behaviors. The attempts at a logical analysis of such diverse facts did not yield results until Kawakita realized that the data being grouped, they get quite a different meaning, which was the beginning of his work on the development of the KJ method and its simplified form, which we call a kinship diagram. Over the decades, this method has spread among Japanese companies, first through organization consultants, then different level managers. The popularization of this method became manifest with the placement of its simplified version, that is, the kinship diagram, among the so-called seven new methods of TQM. This is a group of tools which was created with the development of quality management systems. You must ask yourself a question. Why do I need this? Let me explain. The kinship diagram is a tool applicable in a situation where there is a large amount of chaotic information and data. For example, from brainstorming. It is a versatile tool that is ideal for the analysis of ideas, problems, solutions, and options, and their sorting is intuitive. Working with the kinship diagram, we apply the teamwork methodology. Therefore, the key thing is to use intuition of the team members who should be specialists in the studied subject. You must be wondering why systematize problem solving. Assume that you are on the position of a manager in the company. You come to work in the morning, you go to the office kitchen to make yourself a cup of coffee, and you are informed about different problems, organizational, technical, quality. You start to analyze these problems quickly, and when you sort out one of them, the new issues and problems already pop out. And so on every day, in the manager's job, troubleshooting is on the agenda and it never ends. It is therefore important that you try to approach it in an orderly manner. Therefore, the solution recommended by the practitioners is the kinship diagram. Okay, but how do you create a kinship diagram? It's easier than you think. The creating of our diagram consists of seven stages. In the first stage, we define the problem in general. In the second stage, we select a team in charge of problem solving. It's best if it consists of four to eight people. In the third stage, we try to collect information about the problem that you will then present to the team when creating a diagram. In stage four, we gather ideas. To that end, distribute cards and pens to the team members. Each participant of the session notes down as many of the proposals as possible. This will take them about 10 to 15 minutes, noting down on one card only one idea. We read individual ideas and put them randomly on the board. Each solution can lead to a new one, as in the meantime, the others can add some fresh ideas. In the next step, we divide the cards together into thematic groups. There should be no more than 10. The selection should be intuitive. If individual cards do not fit into any of the larger groups, do not categorize them as a push. You also need to name each thematic group. In the next sixth stage, collect the cards and develop a kinship diagram in a readable form so that you can easily present it to the public. 
The last step is a follow-up meeting where you discuss the diagram and its results. Be sure to invite all those interested in the solution to the problem and those who will be able to help you work further on fixing the problem. Now, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of this simple tool. Supposedly, each applied method should bring some benefits. And what benefits shall we draw from using the kinship diagram? For certain, a wide range of the method application. Truly negligible costs of the analysis, which are limited to the time spent on the analysis when using the kinship diagram. What else? The use of the method does not require any staff training. It draws on the creativity of employees and gives them the opportunity to express themselves in writing. In verbal communication, persons having a weaker position in the group or being timid often do not present their ideas. What follows is that no one comments during the brainstorming and they do not negate anyone's ideas. Everything can be put on a yellow sheet of paper. Additionally, what we get is visualized, proposed solutions. Therefore, the diagram can be saved, and if necessary, you can always go back to it. And the disadvantages of the kinship diagram can include the lack of a single solution to a problem or difficult situations, and the fact that the method itself is ineffective it is only a great complement to other tools used in problem solving.